Hello over there, I'm Janko with more Pokemon Diamond We do. In the last part, we took on Elite Four Evolution, uh, Master of Psychic type Pokemon, and it was the fourth member of the Elite Four, but then we were told the champion still exists for the, in the Pokemon League. So now let's take on the champion. Let's see who it is. Wait. Cynthia is the champion? What? No, I already knew that, sorry guys. But yeah, it's probably shocking. Well, it's not really shocking uh, if you if it's your first time playing the game, but it's kind of hinted at, you know, Cynthia being a really important character. Anyway, Cynthia says, have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Cornet. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've tri triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. Uh, the power you've learned, I can feel uh, emanating from you. I'm pretty sure I read that word wrong. Okay, yeah, but that's enough talk. Let's get to on. Let's get on to why you are here. You're here as the Pokemon League champion. I accept your challenge. So we had, you know, have a battle with uh, Cynthia. So that's pretty cool. Cynthia is one of the harder um, champions in Pokemon, honestly, at least in my opinion. So she's gonna start with a Spirit Tomb. Now there's no Fairy types in fourth generation. That, that didn't happen to like sixth generation. So this Spirit Tomb has no weaknesses. It's Ghost and Dark type. Uh, the only way you can really do land a super effective hit on it is if you know if you have a Pokemon that like a Machoke that knows Forest Sight or whatever, and then uh, you can use um, that gets rid of its Ghost types for a certain amount of time or maybe for the whole battle I guess, and then you can it just remains a Dark type Pokemon. You can just go ham on with Fighting type Fighting type moves. So I'm gonna try for a Dragon Pulse, see how much that does. It has 90 base power, so it's worth a shot. I think this thing has Levitate too, so that's why I didn't use. I didn't go for the um, Earthquake too. Oh, Embargo. Embargo makes it so I can't use healing items on Drago. At least for a certain amount of turns, I think. Not for the whole battle. Hopefully not. That'd be bad. Dragon Pulse again. Ah, man. This is a little bit in the red health, though. Honestly, yeah. It's gonna use Silver Wind now. Okay. Maybe you guys better off if I just use Dragon Claw or whatever. I might, try, I might try to do that. I mean, I'd rather get he healing items out of the way right now than later on. So, yeah, it's gonna slowly heal up if you spirit to him. It takes like 2 or 3 seconds to fully, you know, animate for the battle animations or whatever. The battle. So, yeah. Dragon Claw. Let's go for the. I'm gonna go for the crunch. It's neutrally effective. Oh my gosh. I guess I know you got your. Okay, I guess I know Kari, okay. Okay. You know what? Since you did that, I'm gonna take advantage of that and try to take this uh, Lucario down with an earthquake. Oh, it's getting dragon. No, it I forgot it had dragon pulse. Come on, this could be super effective. Ah, it's not cool. It's not cool at all, Lucario. I hope this earthquake faints you, Lucario, Cynthia. <laughs> that was a that was a really tricky move there. You just pulled on me. It's level 63 though, jeez. Yes, it knocks it out though, at least that's good. So I don't have to worry about the Lucario anymore. Dragon use- okay, yeah, we can use items now. Okay, for um, Garchomp that's gonna come out, her big guns, her big main Pokemon. Um, I'm guessing out Jetta for this. This Garchomp is level 66. This thing's a powerhouse. So I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam. Uh, but I want it to at least do half and not put in the reds. Well, I guess it wouldn't be at the end of what if she he used another heal and I'm gonna Garchomp. Because I can just easily get it down with another Ice Beam then. Yeah, that does a little bit of half. But it's gonna use a Citrus Berry, okay. As long as Jetta can. Stay, you know, conscious and not faint. That'd be great. Okay, it's gonna use Big Break on us. That's not the worst move we could have used on Jetta. I was worried about like Giga Impact or something like that. Okay, Big Break's gonna do over half. Oh, critical hit. Jeez. Let's go for another Ice Beam then. Hopefully, this fans the Garchomp. I really hope it does. Let's go. Big money, big money, big money, big money. There we go. It fans the Garchomp. Good. That guard jumps out of the way, nice. I don't have to deal with it anymore. Jumps at the Rose Raid, okay. So let's go for the. I'm gonna switch out to Inferno then. I 
I don't want to use foil bits because then I'll hurt Infernos and take some of Infernos health away. So I'm gonna try with I'm just gonna try a flamethrower and see how much that does. I'm two levels higher. Inferno is two levels higher than this thing, so hopefully we have the um we have a good win a good spot. But this rosemary does no extra sensory, which will be super effective on Inferno, which that's what I'm worried about because I'm pretty sure Rosemary is gonna use it if it lives and it lived. Cheese. Oh, it's gonna use. It. Oh, thank you for using energy ball. Wow, that's not even a super effective move. It's very not very effective. I kind of looked out there. Anyway, let's go for the um, flamethrower then. Oh yeah, of course it's gonna use floor store. I think that's a last healing item. She may have another floor store, but I'm not sure. That could be a last healing item. Get a critical hit, get a critical hit, get a critical hit. Now it's probably gonna use extra sensory. How much you wanna bet that's the case? Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna use flamethrower and hopefully I'm faster than it. Yes, I am faster than it. Awesome. So the rose rate should go down. It's level 60, but it should go down. It does, awesome. So now with that, rose rate has fainted, and Inferno gains enough experience to go to level 30, uh, almost at 30 something. Uh, it goes to level 63 now. Nice. Gastrodon, okay. This Gastrodon is water ground type, so it's only weakness, again, compared to the same as Quagsire, Birth as Quagsire. And and bush cash. You want to use a grass type Pokemon. It's really helpful if you use a grass type Pokemon. She has three more Pokemon left. Okay. She still has her Spirit Tomb too. I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain. This should one hit KO it. This thing's only level 60, so well, <laughs> it could still live and not be fainted, you know. But there goes the Gastrodon. Nice. Gastrodon's a lot easier to take down than her Togekiss in Platinum. Because in Platinum, she doesn't have a Gastrodon, she has a Togekiss, and that's harder to take down. Spirit Tomb, okay. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go back to. Well. Let's see if she, ha she'll ha she has her Spirit Tomb left, and then she has her. She has a what else? She has a mild tick. So I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to Karen then. Okay, so I'm gonna use a Dark Pulse. It's neutral effective. I wanna see what it does. Wow, quite quite awesome. It's just what I needed. So all that's left is a Myotic. So I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna go back to Rose. A big bag Myotic, it's level 63. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, this thing's gonna be hard to take down, even though I have the type advantage too. So, I'm gonna try a couple of Giga Drains. I don't wanna go all pedal dance yet. I wanna see what I can, if I can just weaken it down slowly so it doesn't use a full restore. Because if it gets to the red health, she might use a full restore if she still has one left to use. Okay, it's gonna use Mirror Coat, okay. That's gonna do double back at me, or at Rose. So hopefully Rose can still survive this. Are you kidding me? Okay, Mirror Code's just a jerk then. I'm gonna try to end this battle right here, right now, just using close combat, honestly. I'm feeling really confident, you know? Let's go for the close combat then. Hopefully this is enough to faint the Mile Tick. Let's see if it is. Yes it is, awesome. So I think we've won. We've won. How nice. Very defeated champion Cynthia. Just a few minutes ago you were the most powerful challenger, and now you become the most powerful trainer of all trainers. You are now the newest champion, our newest champion. Yeah, look at that money. <laughs> that was excellent. 
truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty, certainty to secure victory. You both have passion and calculated coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come that may come your way. Uh, th those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Come with me, we'll take the lift. Cool. So in Platinum, there's like a better cool elevator than this in Diamond and Pearl, but that's okay. Oh yeah, look at these cool fours. Nice. I like this music too. Cynthia, the roadhead is the Hall of Fame. Steven, your last battle was splendid. Oh, Cynthia's all shocked. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm, a child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness the child's crowning glory. Steven, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. Yeah, I'm 19 years old. By the time this is uploaded, I'm recording this on uh, January 20th. Gen not January 20th, January 9th, which is a su which is actually a sa Sunday, and uh, no, it's a Monday actually. And by the time this is uploaded, my birthday is actually on January 15th, which is a which is next Sunday. So it's like less than a week my birthday is gonna come. I'm, I'm gonna become 20 years old, and yeah, by the time this is uploaded, I'll be 20. So uh, you can't call me kid anymore. You can't call me a teenager anymore. I'm a grown adult. I'm 20 years old, man. I'm no longer a teenager even. Wow. Well, by the time this is uploaded, at least, I'm still 19 as I'm recording this. I shouldn't call you, yeah, yeah, okay, uh, child anymore. You're going into a real champion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, P the Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Steven, step this way, please. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. So we all go into that cool room. It's been a long time. It's been a long while since I've last entered this room. As Cynthia says, if your last time here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Steven, welcome to the Hall of Fame. You names will be recorded for uh, posterity here. I'm pretty sure I, mis I read that word wrong. Uh, what are you leave leaving? What what you are leaving are the memories of your adventures so far. It's time to record your names, your Pokemon, your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that go with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Put all the Pokemon in that cool machine that looks like a Pokemon Center healer thing. Yeah. I like this music a lot. Uh, Drago, New Hall of Famer. Karen, New Hall of Famer. Rose Raid, or no, I should say Rose, New Hall of Famer. Bronze, New Hall of Famer. Inferno, New Hall of Famer. Jetta, New Hall of Famer. Thank you, everyone. Who watched my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide? It's a happy day. Rose Red's kind of covered by Garchomp's wing, but that's okay. Garch Inferno's kind of uh, covered up by Rose Red. Yeah, it's a. It took me 53 hours and 15 minutes to um, get this far in the game. Pretty much do a walkthrough guide on it. Uh, at least that's my playtime. So yeah, let's move on with the credits. Say we don't turn off the power. Yeah. It's gotta have to do that apparently. It's saving. It's still saving. There we go. It saved the game. Nice. So here's the credits. I just want to thank you guys all for the support on this walkthrough guide. I know redos, redos, uh, walkthrough guides aren't really that fun, uh, exciting sometimes because you've already seen me play through the game once. But I feel like I need to do this redo walkthrough guide because I I I like got missed a big chunk of my old Pokemon Diamond project because um, I had to form out my SD card on my Sony Ruby HD camcorder, and now I got a chance to show you guys this game, uh, show you guys that I caught all the three like trio Pokemon, I caught Dialga, 
belts and garlic to get speed power, all that good stuff. Now, uh, for my next project, it's gonna be a Let's Livestream series. It's gonna be a Mario game, I'll just end it at that. So, like, it's gonna be a Mario game, and I'm gonna be live streaming it, and it'll be my second Let's Livestream series on my channel. So, hopefully, you guys, you guys like it. I still have to practice for it, too. But, um, yeah, I hope I get to that soon, you know? Um, all these credits are good. I like how it goes from the bottom screen to the top screen. It's really nice. Although, on the layout right now, it's kind of looking weird. Because they're not exactly stacked on top of each other. But yeah. I really enjoyed doing this project. I really liked using a new, another team from Sinnoh. I love 4th generation. It's like my second favorite generation. Uh, next to 3rd generation of course. Uh, it comes after 3rd generation. Because I like 3rd generation the best honestly. I really liked filming these videos. And they were really easy to record. And I got through a lot. And I um. I don't know. I just had a really good time with it, you know? I really liked this walkthrough guide. And I hope you guys liked it too. And yeah. Other than that, like, I don't really have much to say. Um, I am still trying to upload every day. But just know whenever I don't upload this first in the day, just know that I'm working on new videos as fast as possible. I upload as much as I can. And I hope you guys like my next project. I hope you guys like it. That's going to be a live stream. So you guys can be in the chat with me if you come to the live streams. It's going to be streamed on YouTube Gaming. And it's going to be with my new way. It's one of my way out. It's, uh, if you look at my um, newest um, live stream currently. It's my current new, my current new, newest live stream is uh, when, I, when I live stream with Gus and Sam. On the 27th of December of last year of 2016. Yeah. And uh, that might not have been my um, newest um, Let's Play, but um, uh, the day I'm recording this, the time I'm recording this, it is. Just check it that way out, and that's the way I'm probably going to use for the um, walk uh, for the Let's Live Stream series. Other than that, um, I think I talked about all I wanted to say. I will be doing a little short after game video. It's just me collecting the National Dex, but that's really it. It's going to be a very short video, just showing that I got the National Dex from Professor Rowan. So if you guys like it, I won't do the power part because I it's just on an emulator, so I can't really do like GBA cartridge slots. I was able to do that with my original walkthrough guide. And I did stock mountain I think for um, my original Pokemon Diamond walkthrough guide, so that's good I guess. And Giratina, but I won't be doing it for this file. I just kind of want to move on to another project. I kind of am burnt out on doing Pokemon right now for my projects on YouTube, so I'm gonna switch to Mario game and hopefully that's a good change of pace. Because I've been playing a lot of Pokemon lately and I kind of get kind of sick of it sometimes, well, kind of tired out and exhausted from it, I shouldn't say sick of it, I'm never sick of Pokemon, I'm just exhausted from it every now and then, so other than that, um, I'm gonna just um, let you guys hear this awesome music, and other than that, I really have nothing else to say, so I'll see you guys at the end of the credits. Finn. I didn't know Jake from uh, I didn't know Finn from Adventure Time was in this game. No, I'm just kidding. Finn spells his name with two N's, by the way, anyway. So that's Finn. And now it just reboots the game. So yeah. I'm gonna end the part right here though, so this will be the um not the finale actually, the after game will probably be the finale. I'll just count as the finale for the after game. So I hope to see you guys in the next part of my in the in the, in the finale of my Pokemon Diamond you do walk the part. Uh, walk the guide, I should say. So, this has been Giant Go again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in my next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide.